most of you probably are wondering what's been going on because the last you heard I was going to Boston a lot of things have happened since then um, I guess first I'll start off by telling you about my Boston trip it actually went really well we're on the road to a diagnosis again RSD CRPS which is reflex sympathetic dystrophy or more commonly now known as complex regional pain syndrome um, they're currently trying to determine which type that I have and then they're gonna send me to another specialist in Boston so that's where we're at right now with them and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can see, I had a little accident. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but we had a job interview at Olympia Sports, and Bugsy and I got the job. We actually got the phone call on the way back from Boston that night. It's been going great so far. I've only had three shifts, but uh, my last shift, uh, I fell backwards trying to wheel out of the bathroom, um, and my wheelchair flipped over and kind of landed on the cement floor with my head. I didn't think it was that bad at the time. I actually managed to keep working for about another half hour. Obviously, I was really out of it. Um, don't really remember any of it. Um, but the manager convinced me to just have someone come take a look at me just to make sure I was okay. And the next thing I knew, they were taking me to the hospital in the ambulance. On the bright side, the EMTs said that Bugsy was phenomenal in the ambulance. I was a complete vegetable so I wasn't able to give him any commands any hand signals and my parents weren't able to come take him and then meet me at the hospital so he came on the ambulance with me and they said he pretty much handled himself and he was perfect um, they couldn't believe how good he was so that was amazing to hear been in and out of the hospital the past few days when I finally got discharged from that um, I made it about two days and uh, ended up going back yesterday. Um, it's, it's only been like three or four days since the initial thing. Um, sorry, this is I'm very I'm still like really not quite myself yet. I'm doing better. the The biggest problem is, from most of you know that I've been struggling to eat for quite a while now. I lost almost 40 pounds, like just over 40 pounds last year and I've been working really hard to get it back but it's been really difficult um, on the rare occasion where I'm not throwing everything back up. I just can't make myself eat. It's just, I can't do it. Since this most recent concussion on Monday, I haven't been able to keep anything down. That's why I had to go back to the ER yesterday. They're currently talking about a feeding tube. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. We were originally hoping to just try an NG tube to like just see if I'm going to see if it's going to work because it's much less invasive, um, no surgery involved. And the ER doctor would just went straight to talking about a PEG tube, which is the one they put straight in your stomach and your abdomen. Um, and I'm not really thrilled about that, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're dealing with a lot right now with all the doctors and stuff. And, um, this afternoon I have an appointment with my pain management doctor. And this is completely unrelated to this week's accident. Um, this is just this sketch, this appointment has been scheduled for a while. It's been really tough because I just... I haven't really been able to heal from this concussion like I had the past ones just because of the constant vomiting. My mom stopped counting after about 60 after the first day. It's exhausting and like my neck can't heal because of it. Um, hang on a second. And yeah, pretty much been living with my trusty froggy bucket who's been keeping me company here. I'm gonna head back to bed because this video just took like every spoon I have. <laughs> yeah, I I, I kind of wish I had better news. I, I don't, as most of you know at this point, I have extremely shitty luck. Um, <laughs> so at the moment it's just gonna be a matter of uh, trying to recover from this concussion. Um, which hopefully if I can eventually get to a point where I can stop vomiting constantly then then I can probably the rest of me can probably heal but um it's definitely 
definitely been a setback. Hoping to get back to work, like I said, they've been so great to us. Uh, really understanding, especially considering the accident happened at work. I don't know, I love it there. I want to go back. Um, anyway, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm pretty sure I left out a ton of this. This was just going to be like a mega update video, and I think I left out a ton of the stuff I was going to mention. Okay, yeah, I'm really not feeling so hot. I'm going to go. Um, but I hope you have a great day, and I hope this sort of filled in some gaps for you along the way. I know obviously a lot of information is missing on your end, and I'm sure this is really confusing, and um, hopefully this will sort of explain to you why I haven't been vlogging much lately. Um, but on the right side, you know, we're heading towards a diagnosis from Boston, so that's really good, even if it's going to take time. You know, I, I got the pretty much the greatest compliment in the world from the EMTs on the ambulance. I don't know, he's kind of an old pro at it now. I guess he has to be, if you think about it. But, um, I'm going to go now because I'm getting really tired. But, hey, like I said, I hope you have a great day. And, um...